Hey guys, welcome back to today's bullet point. I'm Marcus with Nardis Gun Club, and today's bullet point we're going to go over red dots on our handguns. First off, this is a dry fire environment. I've got no live ammo in the gun. Chamber's clear. No live ammo on my person or in the room. So we're all familiar with iron sights. We've been doing iron sights since caveman days, right? We're gonna throw that gun out there. We're gonna go through our rear sight, to our front sight, to the target, back to front sight focus, and then we get to squeeze that trigger. When we switch to a red dot sight on our firearm, we've eliminated a lot of that thought process. We're gonna identify our target. We're gonna bring our firearm up to the target. That red dot's gonna hover over that target and we're gonna get that good trigger squeeze, send that round down range. Now, the learning curve comes into when we start moving with this firearm. When this red dot comes out of our line of sight, say for instance in a reload, when this gun moves, that red dot's flipping all over the place. A lot of times we're gonna be lucky just to have the dot in the window when we present the gun. Eventually, we're training what you will get. When you throw that gun out, that dot is gonna be right on the intended target. Our grip, our fundamentals have to be solid enough that when that when that shot breaks, we come back on target, that that red dot is right where it's supposed to be. Once you train to a level to where you're keeping that dot inside the viewing window, switch back to your iron sights. What you're gonna notice is you've drilled out all those little consistencies in your iron sight shooting. You will become a better iron sight shooter. The other thing, the main difference in red dot versus iron sight shooting is target focus. What I mean is at no time should our eyes leave our target. When I press this firearm out, that sight, that dot is going right on my intended target. Every single time, there's no back and forth, back and forth when we're trying to acquire a sight picture. We are staying target focused the whole time. That's a tough one to overcome. The first thing most new shooters do when they put a red dot on their gun, they throw it up, they see their target, now they're staring directly at their dot. Again, we're used to that with front sight focus, but that eliminates a lot of the advantages we have when we switch to these red dots. So if you're considering getting a red dot on a handgun, or maybe you already have one on there and you're trying to get over that training hub, or just kind of finesse it and get it a little bit better, come on down to one of our three locations. Talk to one of our professional sales associates. Talk to our RSOs. Get those questions answered. Uh, maybe you'll get some answers to questions you didn't know you had. But the fact of the matter is, if you're considering red dot handguns, you are ahead of the curve. Red dots on handguns is here to stay. Our law enforcement is using them. Competition shooters are using them. Civilians are using them on their everyday carry. It is the next evolution in handgun sighting. And don't forget about our try before you buy. If you're interested in or considering one of these red dot systems, come on down, take one of our pistols for a run. We do have handguns with red dots on them waiting for you to shoot. That being said, I hope you enjoyed the content on today's bullet point, and please like, follow, and share.